Hi, test. Hi guys, this is the second video that I'm doing on trading tutorials. Um, I've pulled up a bit uh, coin chart, just trying to find a nice five wave impulse for you guys. So this basics is going to be on Elliott wave. Um, now, Elliott wave is is as I said in the last video is is a big part of my trading, and I think it's very important that you guys understand the basics of Elliott wave. Um, it's essentially Ralph Elliott was a chap back in the 1930s and he understood or he monitored markets over a long period of time both ab um, uh, before and after the Great uh, Depression of 1929 and he through his research we, we've come up with this way of the movement of shares so it's sort of a three steps forward two steps back mentality and essentially the waves move up in one, two, three, four, five. So this is the basic premise, impulsive premise of the Elliott wave. This has always followed, followed, in some way, shape, or form by a requisite A, B, C correction or any kind of three-wave correction. This could take the form of a zigzag. This could be a flat. It could be a triangle. It could be a regular flat. It could be a running flat. Um, and this is the basic premise. These eight waves here are the basic premise of Elliott wave. If you notice, five in itself is a Fibonacci number. Three is a Fibonacci number, and of course, five plus three makes eight, which is also a Fibonacci number. Now, these waves, we're going to just try and label them here very quickly, just to show you. Now, I could have pulled up any chart, but given that Bitcoin's all that we're doing these days, let's have a look. So that's that's your wave one. That's your wave two, that's your three, that's your four, that's your five. Okay, and as you can see here, this goes into an A, B, C. Now, um, uh, as I said, this is occurring on all time levels, at all points in time, um, at the same time. So it's fractals within fractals. Okay, this could have been. Sorry, that's not right. Um, A, B, C. Now, this uh, time frame is ir irrelevant. Price is irrelevant too. This could be a yearly graph. This could have been a one-minute graph. Doesn't really matter. This five and three-wave pattern is occurring on multiple time frames simultaneously. Okay, and Elliot um, figured this way out. Now, the Elliot wave sequence is. Um, is controlled by a three laws okay and those are three very very basic laws the first law is wave two cannot cross more than 100 percent retracement of wave one i.e it can't cross the bottom of wave one which is right here okay typically wave two retraces are around 62 percent the third the second rule is that wave three cannot be the shortest now please note that is not the same as wave three must be the longest but wave three cannot be the shortest, okay? I.e., in this wave, five is the longest, three is the medium, and one is the shortest wave. If three was the size of one, and if one was the size of three, this is not an Elliott wave count, and likely you're not in an impulsive wave whatsoever. You're in some sort of three wave correction, and you've got the count completely wrong. And the final rule is um, the bottom of wave four, i.e., here, cannot cross the top of wave one, okay, which is right here. So as you can see, there's a good gap there of at least a hundred points or a hundred dollars where the wave four doesn't cross. I've seen this wave four go as much as one cent away from the top of wave one and still that is a valid Elliott count assuming the other two laws are uh, there too. Okay, so just bear that in mind. If wave four ever crosses wave one by a, by a good couple of cents, if it's touching it that's okay if it's a couple of cents maybe you'll get away with that but in my technical analysis any crossover whatsoever more than a few cents and I'm uh, and I've realized I've got the wave count wrong okay and how those are your simple rules um, the rules on the correction is simply that they must correct in a three wave pattern um, but we'll get more into the intricacies of this a little, little bit later on but these eight waves that you see here this is regarded as one um, as one cycle so th this is all uh, one complete cycle um, 
A wave, um, and can't seem to draw a rectangle here. Um, maybe it's this one. Okay, forget it. I don't want to draw a rectangle. It's too complicated. So essentially, that's that's your eight wave cycle. Once again, they're both Fibonacci numbers. Now, um, what's interesting is. And we'll get on through this in a later video. I mean, this this is very much just a quick overview of what Elliott Wave is. Um, what's interesting is that these targets, these Wave 3 targets, the Wave 4 retracements, the Wave 5 target, even this retracement, that can all be predicted if used alongside this tool here, which is Fibonacci retracement. Okay, Elliott Wave by itself is good. But alongside Fibonacci retracement, it becomes a very, very powerful tool. Okay, so if we just draw this out here, just to look at wave one. Now, this is not look how wave two has retraced exactly 50%. Commonly, wave two will retrace anywhere between 61.8 and 50%. Okay, now that is not a rule 100% of the time that occurs probably 70 to 80 percent of the time in in my experience sometimes wave twos can be very shallow and 38.2 and sometimes I've seen them as deep as 99.9 percent .9%, okay but typically typically it will retrace between 50 and 68.2 percent so once this Fibonacci is hit assuming that you've counted a nice five wave impulse you're on the road to a good win area. So that's a great place to go along with a very tight stop. Strictly speaking, your stop should be below the point of wave one. But if you're a highly aggressive trader like myself, you're waiting, you're gonna go on the shorter time levels and you're gonna put a stop once you see a five wave move up and a three wave move down, okay? Which we will see if we go into the minor level on the minute um, scale, okay? But if you're not an aggressive trader, you could put your stop right here okay and that's usually a good time to buy now that's your wave two now before I forget wave one three and five are deemed um, impulsive waves okay and they themselves have five waves okay as you can see here one two three four five one two three four five and one two three four five okay so wave five three and one all have themselves five waves and here what you actually have is an extended fifth wave and the reason it's extended is because wave three is usually is usually um, one point six one eight of wave three in terms of a projection okay so what I've done there is I've used this tool here called the Fibonacci trend based Fibonacci extension tool once again guys I'm using tradingview.com um, I would just stick to this this is very good for your charting I do use a few of the software for my charts but those are very very complicated and certainly to show as a tutorial tradingview does the job okay so let me just do that again so what you do you take this from the bottom of wave one which is here top of wave one and essentially we are projecting the length of wave one to the start of wave two which is here okay and so this 62.61 is essentially that it essentially that means this wave one is equal to this here hence you've got a one-to-one -one ratio 0 0.618 is equating to this distance is exactly 61.8 percent of the way here now wave three typically goes all the way up to 1.618 as you can see here wave wave 3 itself barely crossed above the 1 and hardly got up to the 1.236 okay in which case we're most likely dealing with an extended whiff wave which is exactly what we got okay and if you were to just keep this distance and move it up to the top of wave um, 4 what you get is a wave 5 which is equal to 1.5 of wave 1 okay and um, that is that is fairly sort of typical of um, that is fairly typical of uh, wave um, wave uh, wave 5s they are around 1.5 
or 1.618 of wave 1s. Okay? Um, the other way to project your wave 5 is to take um, from 0 all the way to the top of 3, which we're assuming is either here or here, but let's just call it here. Um, but let's call it in between the two. And then you project it going up. Okay? And usually it's 61.8 or it's around 1, so it's around 60. 8.02 off that. Okay, now um, that's the requisite five waves up. Um, the other way to project the target off wave five is to do an extension of uh, wave wave three. Okay, so what I've done here is I've I've done for I've done an extension so a reverse ex, uh, a reverse extension so what you do sorry so a, a, a reverse uh, retracement so rather than starting from here and going here you do it the opposite way okay and that's wave zero to wave three you go the opposite way and this works out the extension and as you can see wave five is very close to 1.618 okay it can't always be um, incredibly accurate but it's close enough and we'll get into these targets in a later video okay now um, what I will do in the description down below I'll leave the Amazon uh, link I've just been uh, I've just received a comment actually on that as to what the link is so I believe the link I've shared is simply the Amazon website link so I'll 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 share the direct link to the book which I recommend and um, please do click on that link if you want to learn more about Elliot Wave the book I have in mind is by Robert preacher and that is basically the bible behind Elliot Wave okay so that's just a basic view of Elliot Wave okay as I said I could have do done this on any any time frame on any, any chart but um, I've just chosen Bitcoin because that's what we're interested in okay so what we have here is actually an extended fifth wave okay um, usually it's it's wave 3 which is the extended one and then wave 5 usually equals 1 in 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 terms of um sort of uh, uh price as it were um in terms of uh, length wave 5 usually equals wave 1 All right now let's just quickly check this retracement for wave 4 so wave 2 we know retraced wave uh 50% you do this on the top of here and i think that's about right Okay, and as you can see, wave four retraced 38.2, which is quite typical of a of a wave four. It's quite typical. Wave four typically will retrace anywhere between 23.6 and 38.2. Okay, and typically you'll get the concept of alternation. Now, alternation um, is is a characteristic of um, well, it's a characteristic. I can't say that word. Is a characteristic of forget it. I can't say that word. Um, it's a uh, character yeah that's a little bit easier get my getting um, tongue-tied there so there's sorry not alternative alternation so now there's a concept of alternation and this you see on all levels of Elliott wave but you see a lot with wave wave 2 and 4 okay and that alternation is in terms of price so wave 2 typically has a deep retracement as is typical of wave 2, 50 to 61.8 percent, wave 4 will typically be a lot more shallower, i.e. 38.2, 23.6. And likewise, if this wave 2 was a shallow wave, 23.6, expect a deeper wave for 61.8. So as you can see, as the price starts giving you more and more information, you can almost predict with a very high degree of accuracy um, where uh, where you're gonna get in and and you can have very very tight stops and the reason you can have tight stops is because of this let's say you are following this up and it gets to here and you get the impression that wait a minute this is not an ex this is not a normal wave three this this hasn't gone far enough it's longer than wave one so I must be right about my count but wave three hasn't gone far enough then you can ask yourself wait a minute wave two retrace 61.8 so I'm expecting quite a shallow wave 4 then I'm expecting quite an extended wave 5 only because wave 3 didn't reach its target so I'm expecting one of the waves to be extended and typically one of them are 
extended so what you can do once you've tracked this move let's say you get here your stop strictly speaking doesn't need to be as low as this doesn't need to even be as low as this your stop can actually be and I'm sure you've guessed it the top of wave one and that's how powerful it is and the reason for that is as we've said wave four cannot cross wave one so actually your stop rather than being at 58.5 it's at 60 you've just increase your stop 60 well by hundred and fifty dollars there okay because once it breaks this level here almost certainly it will break this level here so this is what I mean about Elliott wave it it makes you have a lot smaller losses when you're wrong okay and typically a lot of the the time well above 80% of the time you'll be right but even if you were wrong if you got in here I mean your risk re reward is just ridiculous your risk is forget about here to here even here to here your risk is literally this much and you could have easily projected somewhere close to this target as I've just shown you knowing that wave 3 was not the extended wave so if you bought in here 61.41 you could have projected um, 67.64 okay and you 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 just know that wave 5 is going to be extended alright um, and um, that's how powerful um, Elliott wave is it's it's really really powerful because you can use the retracements you can use the projections you can use the reverse retracements or the extensions as we call them we won't go over time as because as I said my research into this is ongoing you don't need to use any of this nonsense here fib circles and gun and pitchforks I don't use any of this pitchfork nonsense all I use is one two and as I said I'm working on Fibonacci time but right now these two alongside Elliott wave um, and you'll do really well you'll make a lot of money um, you'll make a lot of money so that's the basic premise of Elliott wave and just to finish off let's just find out how much this C wave re retraced okay and look at that this C wave hit exactly 38.2 and that's gonna kick off a new impulse okay um, obviously I'll have to zoom out to find out the bigger picture as to where this price has actually gone but we're just concentrate on these eight waves here so this eight wave sequence is one f one Elliott one Elliott wave okay um, so this is not to proportion because as we know um, well that's not I mean that looks equal to these two so this is a terrible diagram which I've copied and pasted from from the internet here but um, as you see wave two doesn't cross here rule number one that's not crossed here rule number two and wave three can't be the shortest although this is terrible scale but you get what I mean okay and typically wave three is the longest but this is a great example actually because here I've shown that wave three is actually the medium sized one wave one is the longest wave three is more and then wave five is right there okay so anyway guys I'll I'll leave that with you guys I'll leave the link to the Elliott wave book um, in the description down below please do have a look and um, let me know what you think I mean I'm looking at setting up some seminars very very soon um, early in the new year hopefully this channel grows to a large extent and I get a lot of UK followers I'll be looking to do that because I've paid for courses um, nonsense hype courses and they've not been useful whatsoever so I I had to force myself to learn trading the, the right way and I would love to um, share that with you guys so um, have a click on the link see what you think I'll have it in the description please like please share please sub subscribe anything you want me to cover in terms of Elliott wave volume divergences um, order books perhaps even on Bitcoin, gold, any of the markets you want, you want me to have a look at, please please let me know. But as I said, the bulk of my trading is Elliott Wave and Volume, and I use those two together, hand in hand, um, uh, alongside Fib Fibonacci um, to come up with my trading ideas. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, this has been an Elliott Wave tutorial, and I'll catch you guys soon.